Hey loves, Jay here from AOHW and I'm back with a Monday Pick a Card reading for May 29th through June 4th. Happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. Hope you are enjoying your week so far. Keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Take the parts that do resonate and apply it to your life however it fits. We're going to hop right into some past, present, and future energies here. We're going to take a moment to take a deep breath. Choose message one, two, three, or multiple messages, whatever resonates with you. And we are going to hop right into message one. Past, present, and future energies. Okay, for that past energy, we have creating heaven on earth is happening right now in your life. Let's see what's coming up for you presently. Presently, we have longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. And for the future, we have, have you answered your deepest calling? Okay, so here we go for that present energy here. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So those of you that are feeling any sort of struggle right now, know that you are creating heaven on earth. So make sure that you are staying in a positive place right now. Um, making sure that you are in a place of manifesting your desires, you know, steering away from negativity, negative thoughts, negative people. Very important for you right now. Let's get a couple cards for this past energy here. All right. So we have the Will of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles here. That is clarifying this Creating Heaven on Earth card. It is happening. Okay, so... And the most recent past, some of you have experienced some change dynamics in your uh, your friendship dynamics as well as in your finances. Maybe some of you have also been in this place of your just your emotions have been changing. It just feels and like there's just been a shift. I do feel like the shift has been a good shift for you as well as we're looking at this Wheel of Fortune. That Three of Cups is talking about celebration and happiness. So when it comes to your finances here, maybe it's been a slow, steady process for you, but I do feel like there is um, something that you're now creating because now you're creating heaven on, heaven on earth here. It's happening for you. So if you are not currently in this position, this is something that um, is definitely coming for you. But we're and although we're talking about the the past here, time is fluid. So however this is showing up for you, there is a change that is coming when it comes to your finances, your emotions, how you show up in life, how you show up in your friendships. This could also be a change, like I said, in your relationship dynamics with friends, with friendships, with coworkers, with families, friends, your partner, if you are in a relationship. So there is definitely change um, on the horizon for you guys. Let's hop right into this present um, energy. I don't like to spend too much time in the past. So let's see, uh, we have longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Okay. All right. So let's see what's coming from here. I do feel like there is a, a, a Obviously, there is a big, beautiful world out there, but I do feel like you're developing different perspective right now. You're in that place of developing perspective. I'm also picking up travel for some of you guys as well. Um, just exploring something different. I do feel like there's um, a change that's coming, and it's probably this this past energy here when I talk about change. Um, but some of you are, are longing for something more than what you're currently in. And wanting to, to feel a sense of belonging. Okay. Some of you are light workers as well. Some of you are on a very conscious journey right now. Or seeking uh, counsel for that. We have the sun coming out. All right. 
we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. This is awesome because I feel like this is in regards to your finances, your living situation. We're talking about here, we have the Sun, the Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles. We have two major arcanas here that is coming out for you. Um, and the word that just came to mind is reliving. So you're re reliving something, maybe some of you are reliving the past. Um, or trying to live the life that you really, really want here. This is definitely based on um, your independence, your happiness as well. Um, so some of you are in this place of really, like I said, exploring different aspects of yourself, tapping into that childlike energy here with the sun, um, with the sun card here. That is, this is uh, the empress in the center of this, is this energy of independence, okay? So some of you are trying to find balance as well as what I'm feeling with the sun and the empress card here. The queen of pentacles is very similar to the empress. So you, you can be, um, I wanted to say mirroring something. Um, this could be a mother energy, maybe, you know, mirroring your mother in some sort of way or um, trying to reestablish a relationship with a, with a mother or reconnecting to your mother in some, some sort of way. But I do feel like there's a happiness behind this as, as well. There's a, a complete and whole feeling that I'm getting from these three cards uh, as a whole. So I do feel like um, building confidence, um, building reassurance as well as in your relationship, as well as in your finances here. So I do feel like some of you are, when it, I'm looking at this present oracle card, longing for home, this could also be like a physical, like a literal meaning of longing for some of you could be purchasing a home. So that could be coming up for you as well. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else coming from these here. Yeah, I do feel like you're focused on yourself right now. You're focused on your happiness, which is most important. Some of you are in a place of healing your heart here with this Empress here in the center. Um, and mending things, mending relationships, mending the relationship with yourself as well. Maybe uh, for ch in, you know childhood days were not that great for some of you and you're coming into this, this independence, this energy of self-love and self-care that you're, that you're in. So I do feel like there's a lot of, you're in a place of mending, um, becoming emotionally stable, becoming grounded as well with this Queen of Pentacles energy here, and just being in a place of abundance. Uh, really, that is the most important part of that presently is building a bit abund abundance for yourself. Okay, so let's see uh, what is coming up in the future for you. We this card is have you have your <laughs> excuse I can't even get my words out. Have you answered your deepest calling? Is the question. Okay, so let's see what is coming out of the tarot for you. So um, I do feel like. As I'm looking at this uh, warrior woman here, I do, it reminds me of, oh gosh, that's a lot of cards that fill out. Let me see if I can grab these. It reminds me of the Ace of Swords energy. Sorry, guys. I, I hate when they fly that far. Um, so it reminds me of that Ace of Swords energy where there is, um, a, new, a message could be coming in for you, some sort of announcement or something like that. Have you answered your deepest calling? So if this is the question you've been asking, what do you desire? Um, what do you want to fulfill in this lifetime? I feel like that those answers could be coming to you. We have the chariot, the fool, and we also have the six of swords. So we have more major arcanas here. And it seems like they both keep coming out one and two. So this is some deep change profound change that's happening for you guys as well but I do feel like happiness on on the horizon for you um, in the in the future okay in the near future here uh, as I'm looking at this card and looking at the um, daisies in the back I just I think of like happiness and sunshine um, things come into fruition a lot of abundance as well so I do feel like alignment here um, with this chariot, you taking action on something, you're uh, taking a risk on something for some of you. So some of that deep, that deep calling may be something completely out of the norm for you and you're just going for it. You're in a field of fear and just do it, which is pretty, pretty amazing. That Six of Swords is says, saying that you're headed to, to calmer waters, but I feel like you're taking a new direction, okay? That new direction is coming up for you here. I think that's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to this future energy here is that um, the answers to your question is definitely coming towards you 
um, very soon here with the warrior woman that also remind me like I said that um, the ace of swords energy which is like a breakthrough for you new ideas mental clarity there um, there's just success on the horizon for you here and then these cards are just saying yes you're headed somewhere with that six of six of swords energy here let me see if there's any other messages here you're definitely leaving behind old, leaving behind um, like releasing baggage. That could also be people, your, that could be career, job, um, however that is showing up for you. But I definitely feel there is a change for you on horizon. So there's a lot of change that is happening that is coming up for you here this week and beyond. Okay, so let's hop right into um, message two. See what's coming in for you. In the past, okay, we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held, retreat, rest, be held in the past position here. Let's see what's coming up for the present. In the present position, we have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, sending the light, laying foundations, divine plan here. And in the future position, Also, leave me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know which message you chose and if it resonated with you in any way, okay? And in the future position, we have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Funny how uh, the future card here is um, a question, which was the same in message one as well, okay? So lots of questions to ask yourself here this week, all right? So let's pull some tarot around this first card here, deep replenishment. Not going to spend too much in the past, right? The past is the past. So some of you have um, were in a place of retreating, resting, um, just sort of replenishing your energy here, All right. reconnecting in nature. Um, um, the retreating, not only necessarily, um, you know, just sort of retreating physically, but I, I feel like some of you probably have gone on a retreat as well. All right, so we have this the Nine of Swords. We also have the Hierophant here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So um, I'm, I'm feeling a relationship here, like taking a break from that. Some of you have been stressed out about something. Um, that Hierophant in the middle makes me feel like um, there's, like we're talking about a marriage or, a, you know, someone that you're deeply connected to, have a, a deep, you know, maybe spiritual connection to or you're tied to in some sort of way. This also comes out as, you know, a very spiritual card here. Um, but uh, I was automatically feeling um, a relationship. So this could be a, a partnership, a business partnership or an intimate relationship, but something that has been a little bit heavy, sort of keeping you stressed in this place of stress and worry. I'm also feel like some of you have been alone here with this nine of swords energy. So maybe some of you have taken a break from a relationship, something that you needed to work on yourself here with this, with the seven of pentacles is the energy that I'm picking up from this card here. Um, you, this was like a, a period of contemplation. You were uncertain about if you wanted to continue this, you know, long-term relationship, if this is your person, this could also attain, um, this could also, um, What's the word that I'm looking for? This can pertain to your uh, finances as well. But like I said, I'm feeling more of a stronger energy of a relationship here in the past that some of you just sort of retreated from. You just needed a little bit of time, take a little bit of break, a little bit of a break to sort of work on yourself. That's in the past. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much in the past, but let's move into that present energy, energy. Sending the light laying foundations, divine plan see what's coming up for you. I'm feeling an energy of you guys being supported by your tribe here. And I, I want you to know that you are loved and, and people see you um, as a love being. People may look up to you. 
um, people are, are inspired by you. So if you've been feeling, um, you know, doom and gloom and just feeling in in a place of um, or having uh, low levels of energy or feeling not enough, know that there are, um, that you people, you inspire people, your stories inspire people. Um, your life may inspire people, but I do feel like people do look up, look up to you in a way and people want to support you. So for those of you that needed to hear that message, there you have it, okay? We have the Ten of Wands here, the Five of Wands, and then also have the Nine of Cups. So yes, something you have been definitely working at, constantly battling something. It feels like you couldn't get, like you can't get through to someone. Um, the, like I said, this could also pertain to your finances as well. Take it however it resonates with you. But I'm feeling a relationship, as I said. Um, not being able to get through someone, so just constantly battling one another. It's just, it's heavy. I do feel like there is a change that is coming for you where, will, um, where your, um, your wishes will definitely be fulfilled, whatever, that, whatever it is that you have been wanting to bring into your life. You'll get to a place of feeling content and happy and in gratitude here. You're looking for emotional stability at this point because you've been you've come out of this place of retreat, so you needed to rest, and now it's about really taking care of yourself. Um, I do feel like your worries and your fears are going to be cast away from whatever this is that you have been experiencing that has been overwhelming and sort of burdening you and been on your mind here. Okay, so there's going to be some peace and harmony on the other side of this. Make sure that you take care of yourself, okay? So I would still suggest, too, in this past energy to really still take that energy into the present and making sure that you're taking care of yourself. Health is very, very important so that you can gain your strength back to really move forward, okay? Because happiness, material gains are definitely headed your way here with this Nine of Cups energy. And you are, like I said, going to be fulfilled, fulfilled because there's been a lot that some of you have been going through that you just needed to take a step back um, from okay, so we, let's see what's coming up for you in the near future here. We have the Four of Pentacles. I'll take that. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So we have two knights here. So um, someone could. Um, what is not aligned or needs to change? There, there definitely needs to uh, be a change in your emotions, your relationships, as well as your finances for some of you. This could be and or for uh, for you, however it, it resonates with you here. But um, what is not aligned or needs to change is the question that you have to ask yourself because that will be re revealed to you in the near future. But what we have is here again is the Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like th the Knights could show up as a person, but I'm also feeling an energy from this as well. Some of you could be closed off to um, someone, someone or something. This is also this Four of Pentacles here is connected to um, financial, like um, uh, saving money and building security. But this could also pertain to you feeling uh, scarcity, like lack of, so you're closing yourself off to, to what is coming in. So I do feel like you need to get in alignment because remember in the present energy, that Nine of Cups here is saying that things are gonna be changing your wishes are going to be coming true. Um, you will be in a place of contentment and happiness and feeling a sense of independence. So you have to get very clear on what isn't working for you and get in alignment so that when this change begins to unfold, if it hasn't already unfold, unfolded for you, um, you have a clear direction, okay? You have emotional stability here as I'm looking at the Knight of Cups. You are able to be in a place of creativity and... Um, and, and romance, and love, and beauty, and idealism, and you're following your heart, okay? So some of you are needing to reconnect to the artist the artist within, okay? Or what, what feeds you, what expression, what form of um, expression feeds you the, mo the most, okay? Some of you have been neglecting that and needing to um, really bring that back into your life so that you can really open these doors to this happiness and this abundance that is definitely trying to come through. For you, okay. So, what is not aligned or needs to change in your life is a very is a very important question for you to answer for yourself right now because there's a lot that is opening up for you. All right, let's hop into message three here. Let's 
see what's coming up for you in the most recent past. We have Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So this reminds me of the full energy of taking a leap of faith, faith, okay? Taking a risk on something. My camera does not want to behave today. Okay, so we'll just leave that at that. All right, let's see what's happening in the present. Presently is the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? This reminds me of the tower card, okay? Of change that is definitely coming for you. All right, and let's see what's in the future position for you. All right, and in the near future here, we have the uh, M. Ramna, M. Ram in Rama car, where are you being called to journey? Again, this future energy here um, for message one, two, and three now, this uh, has been a question because, you know, the universe wants to get very clear on what it is that you want to bring into your life here. So let's clarify this future position here, this leap, okay? What are you taking a leap on? Um, what are you afraid of? What's holding you back? Let's see what's coming out in the tarot here. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed. We have the, okay, we have the Eight of Cups, the Magician. All right. So with this um, Two of Pentacles energy here, I am feeling like there is either, you know, you could be overcommitted to something, you could be in this place of disorganization, or just like a loss of something, like you're feeling overwhelmed and unbalanced here. And I, so that energy is something that some of you are wanting to leave behind. It's sort of been making you emotional. I'm feeling like this, I'm feeling a stagnation between these two cards here, this Two of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Cups that um, you're just, I feel like there's, you're unsure, like you want to just, I feel like you want to just walk away from something, but I, there's a, there's an uncertainty, you're just, you're overwhelmed by a decision that you may have to make, so you're, you're in a place of, um, you were in a place of feeling disappointment, or it could be feeling like you have been abandoned by something or someone, um, and you're just kind of wanting to escape, escape, that's what that feels like. Then, that magician energy is here is like feeling like you don't have what you need in order to move forward, but you do, okay? <laughs> what the magician is coming here in the upright position. But um, I do feel like you guys have just been in a, an emotional place, in an emotional place and not knowing um, which direction to take, okay? And I, feel, I just feel like what has been holding you back more is just fear of something, okay? Fear of leaving behind old relationships, leaving behind the old you, and not knowing um, what to expect in the future, so you're un you're afraid of the unknown, is what I'm is what I'm feeling here, but Spirit was saying for you to just take a leap here. So that's the past energy. Let's see what's happening presently for you. We have the Ace of Wands coming out. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Devil, the King of Swords, and as well as the Page of Cups energy here. What are you clinging on to is the question. That energy right now, what are you clinging on to? Um, there is a new beginning. There is this, um, this energy of inspiration, but 
I'm feeling, or could you be abusing power? Which is why I'm like, I'm looking at the Ace of Wands and then the Devil, and they're two contrasting energies where um, maybe you could be in confusion, um, but or someone could be manipulating power here as well. Um, let's see with this King of Swords. Yeah, I'm feeling that because I look at the Devil and the King of Swords energy here. Some of you could be forcing, trying to make things happen. This could this could be a self-sabotage sort of energy. I do feel like you have a clear direction. You can see things clearly, but maybe for some of you, the power is most important for you. So maybe some of you are trying to control a situation. You're trying to control something that is, um, the universe is trying to bring you something, but you're controlling something or you're pushing something away. That's what that energy feels here. It feels like here also with that the page of cups here this could be a new idea or um, a new inspiration uh, that comes in for you a new creative idea um, could also be a person so uh, there could there's some pushback that I'm feeling here with this energy with this present energy you're, you're pushing something away um, or just not quite open to it maybe if this devil energy wasn't here it could be a different energy that I'm picking up but that devil sort of throws me off here so and and the fact that you know, the crumbling is here. What are you clinging on to? There's something that you're holding on to that you just won't let go of. And you're not allowing things to flow as they should. Okay, so this could be in a relationship. This could be when it comes to your finances as well. Um, however, it's showing up for you. But there is this there is this energy of either trying to force something or, or trying to hold on to something that really isn't serving you anymore. So presently, some of you are in this position. Maybe you are in a, in a beautiful position now, but I do feel like there is going to be an opening, okay? There's going to be an opening. Maybe there is a realization that comes in for you this week as well. So there is something there, okay, with the Ace of Wands. This could also be um, a, a sexual thing as well. I mean, like a, a sexual desire. There's something, like I said, Either something is hidden, something is being forced, or um, something that you're just holding on to that you just don't want to let go of due to control or due to which is control is fear as well, um, is a level of fear. So there's something there, okay? I'm going to move past that energy and see what's coming up for you in the near future here. This card is where are you being called to journey to? And maybe this is part of you really opening up to your authentic self and really not allowing that to shine through okay some of you are afraid of really just showing up and being and be your being yourself let's see what cards are coming out for the future energy here we have the four of swords which is saying that you need to take a little bit of time here the hangman and then the three of cups energy you need to take a little time away from things. There's distractions around that's sort of um, um, leaving you in a place of not being focused. Okay, so this I feel like these two cards, the Four of Swords and the Hangman, is saying take some time away so that you could see things from a bigger perspective, um, to see it from different angles. So this could be a relationship we're talking about, a, a career, a job. This could just be you in general. Maybe your ways, your habits. Things that you need to really steer away from, um, Spirit is trying to get your attention. The Three of Pentacles, some of you may be needing some assistance uh, and partnerships. I'm feeling more like this could be counseling, spiritual guidance, because you're really needing some advice right now. Maybe some of you have been in a place of um, seclusion and feeling like you can just take on the world or you can figure it all out by yourself. Um, Spirit is saying no. In the near future, if you feel the need to, if you're called to do that, it would be a great idea with this Three of Pentacles here to really get some assistance, to get um, to collaborate with other people to really help you be able to build and get to that place that you want to be at, okay? Because there is a stuck energy here. Like I said, that's in the, in the, in the past, but I'm still feeling like there's, you know, there's that fear of wanting, wanting to control. But there is a change that is definitely happen, happening here for you guys. So the question is, for the near future, is where are you being called to journey to? Okay, and I'm feeling like, like in message two, to take that risk. Some of you are just needing to reach out and receive some help to help you uncover some things that no longer serve where you are currently in your life so you can move past that, okay? So that is your 
message. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know which message you chose, if that resonates with you or not, and that's totally fine. Um, this is general, so it's not going to. So make sure you like, uh, like that, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, make sure you share this with your family and your friends. And I will see you guys very soon for another Monday Pick a Card. Be sure to check out your Zodiac monthly forecasts that are dropping now. So make sure you hit the subscribe and the all bell. Okay. Take care, guys. See you very soon. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.